change and we will, they gon' change the game Bump Boys Podcast, it'll melt your brain Y'all don't wanna see the flame, so don't spark the match We like rookie Kurt Angle, make your ankle snap Three amigos like Eddie, but don't lie, you steal Only cheat when we gotta, but to win, we will Mike skills like Dusty, but go hard like Brock I'm a stunner like Austin, dropping elbows like Mach Y'all don't wanna see the finish, cause it's us on top One, two, three, get the V and get a warrior pop, yo! What's going on, guys? It's Mr. Underscore Wolves 95, aka King William, here from the Bump Boys. We have the Bump Boys. Say hello, guys. <gasps> Bump Boys now in 1080p. Yes, sir. HD. Yes, sir. This is, this is Joe from the Bump Boys. Joey the Dream. What's up? Joey the Dream. <laughs> Joey the I Dream. Like, I like you. A little close to Velvet the Team the Dream, but we'll keep that another. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Well, nice. anyway, guys, so we have anyway, uh, anyways, let's start SmackDown. First, we started off with Charlotte versus Aaliyah. I thought the match was eh. I was actually watching this in the car, and I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, uh, I'd much rather look out the window. That match was very boring. <laughs> I wish I saw it. I wanted to just see Aaliyah. I missed the first 30 minutes of this, so I'm going to be a tagging in and out because, um, very forgettable SmackDown, which has been common the last few weeks. Honestly, was this supposed to be a go-home show? Because This is a go-home show, yeah. Unfortunately. Uh, was this I pre-recorded? Go, can I go back the other direction? Because this was not pre-recorded. Oh, yeah. yeah. Man, I, this I'd whole SmackDown was difficult to watch. You know, we even had Sasha versus Shayna Baszler. Very hard to watch. You know, just it just wasn't a quality match. The Glow Boss versus... Versus like queens of cards. Mm-hmm. Mm. Like wait, you said, queens of cards, <laughs> queens of spades, and queen of hearts. Oh, oh, gotcha, gotcha. I'm just oh, yeah, that. I guess. See, I I didn't even notice that. Like that, these are things I don't care about. Like with SmackDown, with this. Uh, Honestly, tag division. We're we're kind of fucked with SmackDown until at least August or September when they redraft the whole fucking roster again. That's how bad this is getting, where they have to redraft everything over again. A redraft is going to have to happen. Oh, I don't yeah. know. I just feel like they haven't built stars. Like, I, like there's no IC title. It's a like, lazy. Facts. Like, who's in the IC title, like, picture? Like, you have Jinder, and you Warner have um, Shanky. Shanky so far. That's it. Like, who else are you going to, you could have thrown into this, this IC title. Wait, did Ricochet even appear on the show? Nope. No. Bruh? Like, um, like on the and they have and they announced that that um well, the collectix cups. No, what? No, that collect that um Naomi and Sasha will take on Natalia and Shayna next week on SmackDown for the SmackDown tag titles I or for the that. women tag titles. Which I was like, what the fuck? Why don't you just have them fight on Sunday on Backlash? You know, that, that means we should get uh, the matches should be really good on Sunday, though. So this should be a good pay-per-view because it's only, what, six matches? Yeah, we better they better be quality if they're not giving us uh, a bunch of them. If they're oh, not giving yeah. us the United, I said United States. I, we better get a six-star match from Seth and Cody. <laughs> hey, the match I'm looking forward to, surprisingly, isn't even a match anyone's talking about. So Madcap the match I'm Maggie. looking forward is this Mad Cat Corbin feud. Like, just, you know, overall, I think this was the highlight of the show. I, so, I don't know the highlight of SmackDown. This. Yep. Yep. It was great. I saw this. Yeah, this yep. was a good promo. Like, I love the fact that Mad Cat was like, you know, the, all the renditions of, you know, Baron Corbin, the one thing you weren't ever was entertaining. And then the fact that, you know, he was like, he was just roasting the shit out of Corbin and Corbin just like, like the heel he is because he knows he's better than him, just walked out of the ring, left. And I just thought this was a beautiful segment for Corbin. Honestly, it was a great segment by Corbin. I think he did a I love it. I actually love Madcap. I'm actually a huge fan of Madcap now. Me too. He's nice on the mic. He didn't go too OD with the laugh. I think WWE was like, hey, kind of toned down the laughing because it's getting a little like, you know, that's Seth's gimmick. You know, WWE loves to copy other people's gimmick. They're like, that's Seth's gimmick, which I fucking hate. In- Let's tone it down a little bit, Madcap, with the laughing. Interesting fact, Madcap Richard Moss, which is Madcap's real name. Has a big dick? No. Um, Paul Heyman, when Paul Heyman was running um, Raw a few years ago, yeah, wanted wanted to push him to be a huge star. They did not listen to him at the time. 
Oh, yeah. I remember you talking about oh, yeah, that. I he remember has that. Look. That's the thing. You look at that body. He has the look. Oh, yeah. And he was pretty nice on the mic t- th- tonight. He didn't have any, like, issues. And you know me. I like to nitpick all the, the mic skills. No stuttering. Mm-hmm. Nothing like that. Okay. And next, uh, let's, next we, re- we had the New Day versus Fight Club table table tables match which this is the best match that these that, that these four have done by far yeah but i think that's all credited to sheamus though like sheamus was the workhorse this man looked great this whole match multiple saves multiple times he's you know you know helping ridge ridge looked a little slow sloppy confused in the i i just didn't understand ridge um but sheamus I... man this this is the champion that we had from back in the day Sheamus was killing it. Yo, yeah, Sheamus is really good. And this whole weird butch, I it's kind of funny, kind of. I kind of get it, but I kind of like. They scrapped it after two weeks. It was like a shit gimmick or shit thing. I was like, eh. Why not give us like some like backstage Waldo. like segment po- things like with the Where's Waldo? You know what I'm saying? Like, wouldn't it have been funny if it, like WWE's just like shooting like a bunch of people walking in Times Square and then you just see like in the background butch walking around. So then, like, wait, wait, is that Butch? Is that Butch or something? You know, some shit like that, or like, you know, they're at like a, a hockey game, and then you just see Butch like randomly, like, you know, walking up the aisle with a hot dog and a beer. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Just like um, because during that match, he did make the comment about uh, the the um, Pat Pat McAfee made a comment about NHL hockey, saying that um, oh yeah, he looks like I need to go or shock guy, the Rangers goaltender. And he's like, he's like, what? He's like, what? You watch hockey? He's like, everyone watches hockey. That's what Pat says. <laughs> Facts or, yeah, something like that. Like, that would have been a cool, like, that would have been like an old school WWE segment, you know, like from the 05, 06 era. Like, mm-hmm. this dude just being like the weirdest butch kind of thing, but actually doing some work. I feel like WWE is lazy with these, like, little, like, they don't like to do these, like, uh, vignettes and shit like that. Like, that would have been funny. No, not at all. Or, like, or let us see. Okay. Like, Honestly. if you're flipping through a channel or something like that, and it's like, you know, Last week's SmackDown feud here, SmackDown feud here, Butch walking, like you said, eating a hot dog, you know, looking at a camera, and then you turn, you're like, okay, you flip, oh, wait, was that Butch? You go back, and now he's gone. That would have been the a biggest, funny segment, I feel like, right there. Honestly, the biggest news to come out today wasn't even the SmackDown. The biggest thing to come out was there. They might. there's more releases on the way of main roster that came out in Fightful that there's... In well, the that's true, but that didn't happen on SmackDown. <laughs> <laughs> like... <laughs> I'm just saying. No, we know. That, just... That's how boring SmackDown was. I know. <laughs> I hate I you guys sometimes. Joe said it. Yo. He just said, but that didn't happen on SmackDown. That was good. That was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs> yeah. But, Danny, no, overall, right. what did you think of this match? Uh, like, uh, if you had to give uh, it a 1 out of 10. That, uh, if I had to give this match, I'd give it a solid 8. I agree. 8, I'm happy with this match. I'm Honestly, done with this match. I don't want to see this shit no more. Oh no, I don't want to see this feud anymore. Can this feud oh. be done? No, because there's Please. no other tag. What other? Yo, honestly, give me, give me another tag team that's on the WWE. Roster. Honestly, you know what I feel like I'm playing. No, 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 no. Wait. Give me you another. What I feel like I'm doing. Name me another tag team. Me another uh, can tag I feel team. like I'm doing? I feel like I'm playing my GM in my new my GM series. You guys will see what I'm talking about. I have to repeat the same match over and over again. <laughs> It's just it'd be, like it'd be like that sometimes, man. It'd be like that. So, Danny, give me another tag team on the SmackDown roster. Los Luchadores, Los Lutharios, but they, 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 they like kind of like in between anything. Raw more than anything. But it's like, yo, come on, WWE, like give us a tag team, bro. They like, gotta call up uh, MSK. <laughs> they gotta call them. <laughs> yeah, get back that boy Nash Carter, or free Nash Carter. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make fun um, of Kayla. <laughs> so, um, another. Who's, who's so, making fun of who? Huh? What? Next, anyway. Next. <laughs> we're talking about his did, lover and shit. We, we talked what? about Drew McIntyre. Oh, sorry. Drew Gulak also had a segment on this. Um, no, a match. He had a, yeah, he had a whole match with Gun, or Gunta. Squash and, match. <laughs> yo, the, the fact that he smacked, him. he smacked the fuck out of him out of nowhere. And you saw the ref like flinch. He said, are you okay? Like right into the mic. I was like, God damn. He said, are you okay? And the, <laughs> Michael Cole was like, I do. No, no. Pat McAfee was like, he asked him if he was okay. I've never heard a ref ask anyone that. Honestly, I like how they're building Gunther. I think, think I consider yeah. Gunther as a considerable threat to Roman. Mm, hell no. 
<laughs> Maybe for the icy title. Would you smoke it? There Honestly, you go. I'd give I give I give uh, Gunther an icy title run first. That's what I would mm-hmm. do. I would give Ricochet, you know, a few like nice little feuds here and there, and then throw him in with Gunther. Just throw him Gunther. And shoot him. him shoot that first SummerSlam or something like that. I wouldn't mind that. And then could have him do magic. Could you imagine him in a, like a Money in the Bank match? You know, Ricochet going for the top, top title or going for the Reese case. He's like right here. And you know, Gunther just backhands that motherfucker's chest. He goes flying out the ring. You go, ha! <laughs> Honestly, but, Ricochet should have grabbed in 2019 before Brock. He he sat there and watched Brock enter the match. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, he was, was looking there. at Hartford. He was looking at that Brock yep, cock. Yep, 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 because I was there. And, and me and my buddies who I went to that Money in the Bank with were cheering like crazy. Because we're like, yeah, Brock. We didn't even care. Because we're at the point where it's just like, I don't care. Fuck it, it's Brock cock. Go wild. So, honestly, that led to the best money in the bank. Brock with Brock with the boombox. Boombox, Brock. Yeah, that man was great. Goated. Boombox, Brock. There's Cowboy Brock, all that. Um, then we so, had, what was, go ahead, Joe. We had uh, Lacey Evans return with her final segment. Um, um, part five, according to Will, part, uh, this is part five, Will, um, where mm-hmm. she basically talks about, you know, mental health, you know, her family, OD. Her daddy shoot it up before her, her WWE. Uh, very powerful message from her, and then she came out. Mm-hmm. I love the look that she's coming out with. Um, the fake as Lita, <laughs> dude. She's a marine. I she's a marine. I love this. No, 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 no. Honestly, <laughs> can, you see, can I be honest? I don't see this as a face gimmick. Eventually, I see this as a heel gimmick. What? No, I see it as a face. July Fourth coming up, my friend. Bro, this is definitely a face gimmick, bro. Like, it's a fake ass. It's a it's an army leader, bro. You don't see it. it I feel like this is a leader from the marine. She, Lacey Evans is an actual former marine. And you marines smoke a, you smoke don't wear that. Danny. I don't think marines are wearing fucking high uh, onesie crop top. Uh, what not one top? What do you, um? I forgot, fuck, what you call those? I forgot the name of those. It's, it's a onesie, low waisted you. jeans and the whole time yeah, I was the, watching her um her vignetta, her last vignetta, I felt like I'd seen this before. <laughs> I feel yeah, like it was just, very similar. Yeah. I feel like they, I think they took the same ending and like replayed it like on every vignette. Yo, <laughs> I'm a WWE superstar and I will be champion. And my daddy was shooting up before my WWE, um, which sucks. Which once again, uh, but shout yeah. out to Lacey Evans. Uh, I, I felt they kind of Michael Cole was forced. Up. No, no, I, not that forced. But like when she came out, I thought that was cool. She got on the barricade. Homeboy was helping. Was you know, <laughs> oh, he was, I got you, shawty. But, like, I feel like they should have let her get in the ring and, like, get in the ropes. Like, it just went to Michael Cole. And Michael Cole went, and we have a – and he, he paused for, like, a good two seconds. I was like, you forget your line, dogs? Uh, uh, Grubhub. Honestly, he was like, my Grubhub, DoorDash. Honestly, um, <laughs> with the girl, Samantha Irvin, announcing her, too, like, making everyone clap. I thought that was kind of cool. I thought it was kind of weird, though. She, they basically were like, you know, she did ask her to be polite and respectful and clap. Like, it's like – don't tell us what to that do. That sounded like, heel as fuck. That's why. <laughs> that's not. That's not like, hey, we're trying to push a baby face. Please clap for him. She just talked about her dad OD and like. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I can see them turning it face. Could you imagine it. them? They chanted needles or something like that. Like, come on, <laughs> this, uh, is don't, Island, don't right dude. this is Long Island, <laughs> man. Yeah, facts. Not fit. No, they wouldn't do that. But anyway, let's move to the let's move to uh next. We had uh Seamus. I mean, I said Seamus. We had Sami Zayn versus Shinsuke. I started to like yep. zone out because I was about to fall asleep. I ain't gonna lie. I was starting to get really Honestly, tired. Honestly, Sammy Zayn won by count out. Um, I took I I downed a few beers. It's all good. So I actually had a couple things to say about this. So uh, I'll, I'll be quick. Remember it was it five, six years ago? One of the match of the year, Shinsuke Nakamura versus Sammy Zayn, NXT. Yes. That's yes. crazy how we came from there to here. That's what I want to always bring up every time I see this match. Two, Sammy di- was great tonight. <laughs> He was a heel. This man is literally Takashi 6'9 of the WWE, you know, going to Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman, she's like, you know, the Travel Chief appreciates you. And he's like, you know, I appreciate the Travel Chief. This man literally cut a deal with Sam- Rome, with Paul Heyman. He really wants I to love be it. in. He really wants to be in the. He, Sammy really wants to be in the bloodline. I think they should make Sammy an honorary bloodline member. He's, um, <laughs> Imagine he's the one that he's makes the bitch Rome of the bloodline. Time. Getting them coffees and shit. He, yeah, he is. Um, who was the dude from uh, King of Thrones? Uh, what was his name? Uh, who was from? Who was? I uh, remember he was like living with the family. He was from like the the shipping island. What's his name? He ended up getting his dick chopped off because he got tortured. What's his name? Um, oh, William. Dick, uh, from yeah, Pirates William something. William Turner. No, 
I, no, dogs. I just said from um oh. from Game of Thrones. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't. I didn't watch that shit. The one who got like I didn't dick, watch that you, shit either. You watched Game of Thrones, Joe? I watched the last season, but you know, hella people are no longer in it. So okay. honestly, I tried it's to get not into Jamie, it. right? No. The dickless motherfucker. I don't know. Dick dickless. Uh, uh, it doesn't matter. Let's just move on. We'll just move he was on one to of the, the main event. Let's move on to uh, McIntyre and really, RK no. Bro versus Bloodline. Wah, wah, wah. Yes. Yeah, what was this? Like they just came out to the ring <laughs> just to like what the fuck was that? I feel like they want to make it a unification match, but they don't at the same time. Oh, Theon Greyjoy. That's who it was. <laughs> Theon. Who the fuck wow. is that? You don't watch who Game of Thrones, Joe? You just guy? watched the last season? I watched it last season because I did it with my significant other. I didn't, wasn't yeah, and, I, and y'all it. fucking spoiled it for me because I walked in on you guys watching the fucking last episode and saw everything that happened. But anyway, uh, back to, to what Danny was saying. Yeah, what the fuck was WWE doing with this uh, this segment? This was horrible. I have no idea. Um, all 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 it was was um was uh Roman saying he's gonna as uh, Drew McIntyre saying honestly. One to what I thought was funny. Is it the part where they acknowledge each other's WWE feud or? Oh, no. Uh, Yes, that one. And then the part where um, Kayla is interviewing Paul Heyman. Oh, Paul's creeping the fuck out of her. And like Kayla's like, are you flirt? Paul's like, are you flirting with me, Kayla? I got real grapey vibes. Let's just say that. (laughs) Let's just (laughs) say that. Very weird. I got very uh, (laughs) older uncle, uncle, (laughs) uncle, grapey uncle vibes. Um, but I think SmackDown is rubbing awkward. rubbing off on us guys. <laughs> the, yeah. the all over the place and craziness and sloppiness of SmackDown is rubbing all over. Dude, us. it's like, oh my god, I cannot wait for this draft in August or September. <laughs> I can't yeah. wait for Backlash. Hopefully, they like let everybody go on different feuds and just put us in different things. And honestly, I could see this going on like this at least until beginning of July. Yeah, beginning of July with with until Money in the Bank. So what are we rating the SmackDown? Honestly, that that mm, six, and that's because of that, and that's because of that match with the New Day. Yeah, seven point f- four. Okay, okay, all about my better than six. Raw. No, no, you said six is cool. Yeah, Danny, uh, six and a half. Dogs. I actually, yeah, fifty I'm guns. Go, you already said I'll six go, and a half is good. Actually, I'm gonna go six point nine. Oh, okay. Well, we gotta let Danny go. Uh, go uh, first for now. One, Danny, stick to your guns, there, boy. Um, once again, I didn't fully see it, so I'm not gonna give it a rating. That's fine, Will. <laughs> I'll leave it up to y'all. So we'll say, what is that? A seven point two, two, seven point two. Yeah, seven point two. Cool with me. Stay tuned. All we right. will have our uh, WWE backlash uh, predictions coming up, and uh, the reigning, defending. Bump Boys champion. This guy. So, am I going first with these predictions so I can't change mine? Yes. No, we'll talk about it. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. I just want to play Chavo's music. Oh, William. Oh, so, well, Chavo. As well, bask in his little glory Bask over there. in his glory. Bask we'll in his glory. A... Bask in his glory. We will have that video coming out bask soon. Bask in his glory. Is there anything else you want to talk about, guys, before we sign out? Nothing. Sounds like <laughs> sounds like nothing. <laughs> we'll take us out. Bad the bump boys. Glory. Peace. 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 Must be you, Jew. Goodbye. Mwah. And good night. Oh my God, it's so great. Bang!